Beautiful. Uh, 2024 Trophy Hunter Snapper Bash, Coffs Harbour. We are currently halfway, just come past Kempsey. We've just met up with Bretto. Uh, he's bringing up the, the mighty wasp. He's definitely going to be the smallest boat in the field, but you never count Brett out when it comes to catching a fish. So it's going to be interesting to see how it all plays out. We've got uh, three teams from Daiwa. We've got obviously us, uh, Bretto and Joe is hopefully coming up this afternoon, if not tomorrow, with his, his Grady White. And he and Michaela are going to make the mission up and um, yeah, we'll get stuck into it. The, uh, unfortunately, the comp's been scaled back to a, a one-day comp. It was originally supposed to be a two-day comp, just due to the pretty severe front that's come up over the last couple of days. We're going to be definitely fighting the elements at the moment. Plenty of wind and swell, but um, that's all right. We'll make the most of it. You know, it's going to be a, a good trip. You know, particularly for for Joe and I. You know, we don't necessarily get out that often we spend a lot of a lot of time with the team in the office but we don't um you know don't quite often spend much time out fishing with the team so it's going to be a, a nice change of pace for us i think at, at this stage any fish we catch is just going to be a bonus um we're just going to get up there and enjoy it and, and make the most of the the trip with the team and yeah see what we can put together that's the easy way to unhook a car. Get a mic. The rest of you boys arrived. I've got the other half of the A team here with me, Mr. Tom Slater. So we're just going to set up a bit of gear now and try and get everything ready for the next couple of days. The weather tomorrow looks pretty horrific, but we're going to go and just see what we can make happen tomorrow. I suppose we'll just go and see and have a look what uh, you know, just how bad it is. See if the forecast is actually accurate or not. Um, it's changing every time we look at it. Every yeah. time we've opened the forecast the last couple of days, it's been different. So. We'll uh, just make the call in the morning. Perhaps we'll go for a drive in the morning, just have a look at the, see what the, the wind and the swell are doing and make a call in the morning on, on what we do. Um, Otherwise, it's two days of rigging up tackle. <laughs> Retying leaders, tying the same lure on again. <laughs> tying the lure on so many times, you need to tie a new leader on. <laughs> yes. But yeah, other than that, I guess for, the, for us at the moment, we can't make too many plans until we see what the weather does tomorrow. We'll just go from there. Just rigging up some rods, sorting reels out. Got the new Serta SWs. So we've got a couple of them to play with. 23 Saltigas, new Saltiga rods. Got some slow jig setups. It's all happening. Oh, the oh, cameraman. The yeah. cameraman, yeah. That's, that's, that's the cameraman setup right there. But it wouldn't be a secret weapon if I mentioned it now. <laughs> yeah. We've got to wait till we catch we've got to wait till we catch the fish and then he'll be the secret <laughs> I'm weapon. I'm good for one. I've already told him I'm good for one. <laughs> <laughs> No one just said, you want to fish that, it's the best spot. Thanks, mate. Alright, I'm going to go for a drive and see what it looks like. See if we can get out there today. Uh, we'll go down here and take a look and see if it's worth braving the conditions today. Yeah, see if we can safely get out there and have a look. Do a bit of prospecting I suppose. Get to wherever the weather lets us. Looks rough. All these sporting conditions isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, I'm okay to go out there and have a look. Mm. That looks alright. We just have to stay that. Yeah, we've just got to. We're gonna have a really small area to work with. But yeah. I'd rather do that than sit at home. So <clears throat> we may as well go and try and catch a fish. Yeah, because I guess it's not just if we can get out there or not. 
I mean, we can get out there and we can, you know, pretty confident in the boat and our abilities, but if a mechanical goes wrong or, or anything happens, it's not us we have to worry about. It's the people who've got to come and help us. And there's always the element of, you know, it's not fair to put someone else in danger to, just because we're impatient and want to go fishing. So we need to weigh up all those decisions and just try and make an educated, educated decision on what we can and can't get away with. And not a lot of cars in the car park today, which is a, an interesting sign. But um, yeah, we'll go and have a go and have a fish and see, see what the day brings, I suppose. The boys just look like they're, they're standing on the waves. <laughs> they're both so small. I think you're under there. The sound looks decent, but we're very close to the harbour. It's just too rough to run too much further today. So we're just going to have a little bit of play around here and test, test our gear, make sure everything's up to scratch. Boys just got one. First fish of the trip. I think it was Braden. Yeah. Nice fair. Oh, you that, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because we've got so much wind and we're drifting so fast, we just cast as far ahead as we can and uh, let the plastic sink down and um, wait till we catch up to it. Give it a couple of, couple of lifts on the way back. Just trying not to have too much slack line, but it's hard because the wind's blowing so hard. We, uh, we're catching up to the plastic before it gets a chance to get anywhere near the bottom. So we're just doing our best at the moment. Something just sat on that. These things are not my friend. These pliers are in the boat specifically for these fish. Dad, yeah, you got two good ones? Here or over there? It's been pretty dead in here. Yeah, it's been dead out here. Pretty windy. <laughs> After it is, it's windy. Today didn't go as planned. <laughs> uh, Bretto and Braden got a couple of good fish by the looks of it. Um, they've headed back in, but we're coming into about lunchtime now and the wind's supposed to pick up a bit more after lunch. So we're gonna make the call and just head back in and uh, put our tail between our legs and try again tomorrow. So it's uh, morning of day two. We're just heading down to the boat ramp. We've got a short, short little morning fishing session in for this morning. We got a briefing at 12:30, I think, just after lunch. So we'll head out. Hopefully, the wind's not as bad as yesterday. It got pretty gnarly towards the end there. Um, so hopefully, it's backed off a little bit and we can get out and um, try a couple of hours, try some um, different areas maybe. But it just depends what this wind's doing. So. Head down to the boat ramp, wait for uh, a bit more light and we'll get the water. This could be the worst reversing I've ever done on camera. Yeah. So we'll, uh, we're going to head try and head south. The wind's reasonably blowy already, so <laughs> we'll see how we go. We'll um, poke our heads around the corner and see if we can go south, but we'll Chuck the camera away and we'll see you at the first spot. Hopefully with a big snapper first cast. What year models the hull? 1974. Really?
All right, so we just arrived to the first spot we want to fish. So we uh, we got a chat card off one of the boys last night, so got some contour lines to work with now. So we're just going to pull up. Should hopefully drift north with this wind. Hopefully, there's a couple of snapper hungry on this shelf. So. NZ special. Okay, Mr. Prawn. He's on the prawn, straight to the prawn. money bait. Well, it's only real I've got that can wind normally. <laughs> he made everything's left handed. <laughs> right, this is going to be Dr. Rodney. Alright, so starting off, we've got we're in 20 metres. I've got a quarter ounce 7 8 on a 7 inch jerk shed. So you want to Snapper will always come off the bottom to eat it, so you want to maximise the amount of time your lures, you know, in that strike zone. So you want a fairly slow sink. Um, you just got to play it by ear with how fast you're drifting, um, the conditions, and the depth of water, and just alternate your jig head size. So the boys were getting them on quarters yesterday, so we've uh, gone to the quarter, and to be honest, you could probably even go a sixth at the moment. It's um, the drift's fairly slow, so we'll give this a few goes and see how we do. Ah, uh, here comes the rain again. Some sort of tuna species I'm calling this, so lots of tail beats, and it took it while we were driving, so not often you catch snapper trolling in 30 metres, 20 metres of water. Uh, that's a weight of that. It's heavy. Oop, work. Okay, is it? Were you vomiting? Nice little long tail tuna. Bit of unexpected bycatch, but uh, we'll take it. We'll take it. So, a bit partial to a bit of long tail tuna. Uh, it'll find its way into the esky. Alright, so mid-morning update. It's very quiet morning in the shallows, but we've just pushed out to a bit wider in about 40 metres and got one first cast. Got a whale jumping in the background, so hopefully we can catch a few fish out in the deeper water. The water looks heaps better colour out here. In close was real green and kind of milky. Here's the beautiful clear blue, so fingers crossed the deep water pays off. Wave. Hey, he's getting close. He's jumping towards us. Oh, oh. Rodney just got a bite. Yeah. yeah. Rodney's yeah. up. Oh. oh, yeah. Rodney's up. I'm going to rub me. We got a whale in the background. Still on? No, Rodney's off. Ah, he got off. I'm just going to a bit of free school in there, bud. Yeah, it's done a little panty. There's the blue fins on him. Plastic colour, pinky snapper. And that's a pinky snapper. Yeah. Little knob on him. Little spray there. Oh, 
do that. Dirty old Mac unit. I thought that was a really good snapper for a short period there. But uh, it's not. Buy the other thing. How big do you reckon that second one was? 65? Oh, you dog. Yeah. Alright, so we've got a few fish out here actually. There's a few fish, a few, few bites. Um, so pretty confident to come back here tomorrow during the actual event. Probably got like half an hour to keep fishing. The wind's definitely picked up. Getting pretty lumpy out here, so we give it another halfer and then head to the briefing and re-rig and get ready for tomorrow. So hopefully this is a sign of things to come. We catch a few more, a few more snaps out here tomorrow. Oh, that was a bite. The line just went. Oh, cameraman. Hey. Cameraman special. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to call it. Our cameraman pulled out the uh, big fish for the day. Haven't measured it, but over 80. So really nice, really nice fish. But um, yeah, we caught a few fish out here and missed a few. So definitely going to be coming back here in the morning. So we'll uh, button down the hatches now and make the run in. She's pretty wild out here now. So probably take us half an hour to get back and head to the briefing. Tomorrow, we're ready for tomorrow. I'm gonna get some ice and ice our fish down and off we go. Uh, good day today, fun day. We're um, definitely battling the elements. Probably had 30 mil of rain since we left this morning and probably 25, 30 knots of southerly all day. Um, struggled a bit at the start, some green water, some cold water and just weren't getting the bites. So we made a team decision to completely swap it out and, and flip the script and go and do the complete opposite of what we've been doing. and. Um, it worked. It worked. How are you? So we're just uh, taking the boat back. We've unhooked. We've just come down to the uh, Hoi Moi, and we're going to go through a bit of a briefing update now on how they want tomorrow to run, and uh, yeah, see what uh, see what the plan is. Busted off by a decent one today. Look, he was a donkey and I got absolutely obliterated. But it's pretty rare we get to go out and do yeah. this sort of stuff together. So to go out and, and really, you know, knuckle down and get stuck into it in some really trying conditions and come back with some good fish and everyone with a smile on their face and just had a really good time. Um, so if, if tomorrow goes as good as today went, I'll be very, very happy regardless of where we place, what we catch, or how we, you know, however we finish. I think it was all about the, the smiles that we all had in our face after today. Now, no matter what, we'll have a good time and we'll get after it. See who wins. Put her in the water and Yeah, day one, first day, one and only day. Uh, 
plenty of boats out. Looks like probably half the guys are pretty much out now, I'd imagine. So we'll uh, pin it straight to our spot from yesterday that was working and start there and work work north from there, I think, at this point. Boat ramp's starting to get busy now. It's 5 a.m., so an hour before fishing. Everyone's launching the boats, so we'll put the camera away, make our 45-minute odd run, and hopefully uh, all goes smoothly, and we'll see you hooked up to a big red, so fingers crossed. Spot number one, eh? <sighs> Spot number one. <clears throat> that was a mission to get out of here in the dark in a, I reckon, a solid 20 knots of southerly. Oh yeah, it's a big swell. So it was a, a very wet run. Um, but we're here, and we're the only ones here. Yeah, had a lot of line out though. Not a bad one. One on the board anyway. We're on the board. Not a big fish, but it's not a donut, so. Rodney doing the damage. Rodney doing the damage. Alright. Oh, here I see. On the board. It's the advantage of fishing with this reel. It's uh, you know, we know we're fishing in about 40 metres of water here. Given how fast we're drifting, trying to let off about 50 to 60 metres. So it's sort of just bobbing around in that mid water and put it in the rod holder and let the motion of the ocean catch us a fish and it's exactly what happened. So. Wave, you starting to mark some stuff? Yeah. All right, so just been drifting for a couple of kilometres maybe and we're just starting to mark a few fish now. So it's just a big gravel bed that we're fishing. It's a bit quiet on the sound at the start, but there's just a few little things coming up on the bottom now, and Scotty just got that one, so hopefully we're starting to come through a little patch. Oh, hold on, you sort that out, because you find this in, I'll do that. Only 64 metres to go. Couple fish on the board. If we can keep this average up, two fish an hour for the next 10 hours, we might be right. <laughs> That's a better one. Yeah. A bad one on the Koga. A rod hold is special. Oh, yep. <laughs> She's a bit rough out here. Five, four. Okay. I'm a drop. Koga's on fire today. Number five, five fish, halfway to the bag. There's one boat out there actually. Yeah, I've got the new light cast, 7.5. This is the one to 2.5, so the lightest one in the range. New Serto SW4000, some really nice combo. Super light in the hand. Yeah. 
Yeah, man. Oh, now he's got him. There's a, there's a strike there. He wanted it. Fella, 46. Hey. Jammed that plastic a couple of times before I got him. Number eight. Photo. Back. Yeah. Off he goes. Oh no! Oh, dropped him. Everything's alright. Just didn't like the taste of it. Alright, so we just made a bit of a move. We've come all the way to the southern end of this gravel kind of patch that we're fishing. Uh, there's a couple of boats around now, so there's a couple more have just turned up. We've got nine fish on the scorecard. We've caught ten a few times, but it's been pretty small. So we're still on the lookout for number ten. Scott, Today we have a selection of finely crumbed finely chicken, crumbed chicken, chicken tenders <laughs> and some home brand garlic bread. Gourmet. So we're going to pop that in the oven for 40 to 45 minutes at 100 degrees. And actually I felt him. him. He tenders. just tap, 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 tap and roll. Boy, did I set the hook into his face. Yeah, he's, an, he's a keeper. He's a keeper. Yes. Number 10. Good job. All right. All right. Number 10. The old smashed quinoa. Smashed kinna. Hey, look at his back. He's been nibbled on by something. Three. That's an upgrade. Give me that chicken. I'm all good. A little upgrade. We've upgraded two now. That puts us on, I think we're on 13 fish now, I think. Which is not a bad result. Pretty happy with that. You don't see this every day. We've literally both caught the same fish, both on Pelagus, two sets of hooks there. I was winding mine in and I said to Scott, oh, you're getting bites, and then it went slack. I'm thinking we missed him, but no, he's just the same fish on two lines. Four, eight, five. There's an upgrade. Not a big fish for coughs, but we'll take him right now. It's a better one. Oh, oh why are the hooks pulling? No, oh, busted. Ah. Midday update. Had upgraded a few times. We've upgraded, I think, four times now or something, but still got a couple of smaller, kind of high 30s fish. I think 38's our smallest. You're kidding. That's a shooter, surely. That's a dolphin fish. It's pretty wild. I can't see anything out of my glasses. I probably can't really see anything anyway. She's wet, it's cold. Snapper has gone off the bite a little bit. Uh, 
right, so we just made the run back to one of the shallow grounds in close to the harbour. Weather has been absolutely pouring down the last hour or so, so we didn't film much. Scott's bloody shivering. No jumper underneath his jacket. <laughs> so it's not the most comfortable conditions, but we'll, um, this will be the last spot we try. So we'll try the shallows here for a big one. Last minute upgrade and then hopefully we see you with a couple of fish. Otherwise we'll see you back at the ramp in the toasty warm car with heated seats. Yes. That's good. Little fella, but might upgrade something. He'll upgrade something. Those other tiny ones. In the 40s. 41. Yeah. Gets rid of upgrade. Get gets rid of a 37 and a half, I believe. So now we got one more fish in the 30s to get rid of. Yeah, so we're fishing in um, in the what we call the shallows. So we started in about 17. I got a quarter on. Now we're in about 26. So there's this fish up uh, about 20 meters down. So seven, eight meters off the bottom. So you do want that slow fall, kind of as slow as you can get away with. Try and keep it in the strike zone for as long as possible. You felt him, all right? Got one in the end. <laughs> Not a bad little fish. Nice to finish off the day, I suppose. Nice. He'll probably upgrade too. He will. Beautiful. Definitely one of the better ones, to be honest. What is he? 49. Let's get this man a heated seat. And the 2024 Snapper Bash comes to an end. Yep. It's good fun. Very rough and windy and wet day. We so are. I don't think I've ever been this wet in a boat ever. <laughs> we got the bag though, we got we got plenty of fish. I think we're up to about 17, 18 fish, I think. Yeah, bag. probably, yeah, at least. So a heap of fish come over the side. Nothing massive, nothing like yesterday, but plenty of legal fish, plenty of fish is in the 40s and 50s, so um, hey, we'll go and yeah. see what happens. Yeah, can't be uh, displeased with that effort. It was um, big day in the water, so. Looking forward to rugging up and getting warm. Hot shower, here we come. Yeah, let's do it. The old girl made it. She crushed it. She killed it. Yeah, had a good day. It was awesome. It's awesome. Not very often you get to go out, on a, you know, especially with the weather like this, and still, you know, bring 18, 19, 20 fish over the side. So, awesome day out. Couldn't care less about where we placed all the results. I had an awesome time. So yeah. that's what it's all about. Yeah. So we'll uh, get these fish in on the app, and then uh, head to the uh, registration or the presentation to see who wins it. Good, Good job, boys. We survived. So we're here at the uh, presentation, all dried up, all nice and warm again. It was uh, pretty hectic day in the water, but very happy we got our 10 fish. So we're going to head into the presentation now and see who took it out. Word on the street, there's a couple of nice fish caught, uh, but it's very challenging down the water. So it'd be interesting to see where we end up. Just happy to get our 10. So head in and uh, see how it all wraps out. Let's do it. Hey, Alright, so we've got the largest snapper. Cracking fish, uh, 800 long, and the winner is Chris Michaelis. Well Dragons! 
such a well-run comp. Um, everyone involved obviously just goes so you know above and beyond to make this thing what it is, and it's super successful. Yeah, that's the uh, 24 Trophy Hunter Snapper Comp wrapped up, and um, we got it. So very happy, and a super well organised comp. So many good sponsors, and um, yeah, looking forward to the event next year. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. 2024 Snapper Bash is over. Clarky and the boys took it out. Fredo won the uh, Lucky Door Lucky prize. prize. Won the Quinny behind us. So it was a good, uh, good event for Team Daiwa. So stoked with that um, result. We ended up in 28. 28. Happy with that. About 108 boats or something. So very happy with that result. Yeah. We said if we could get top 30, we'd be stoked. So coming in at 28, very happy with that. So. Yeah, so that's a wrap from the 2024 Snapper Bash. We'll see you next year for the next one, eh?